Hey everyone, Coach Sullivan here from MJS Coaching Football. My background is my 38th year coaching football. I've either been a defensive, offensive, or special teams coordinator, as well as a head coach, both collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation, I want to talk to you about one of what we call our pistol games, which is a two-man pass rush stunt, okay, <clears throat> that we call mule, all right, mule. So part of the naming and we in a see my pistol playlist. Me is opposite the rover, so is mule. So one of the teaching progressions with our kids is in our pistol game begins with them. It's away from the rover. Okay, I mean just all these little things can help, and it helps kids sort things and put them into their mental boxes and so forth. Okay, so mule begins with them. So it gets a, a lucky ringo is away from the rover, opposite the rover. So the inside linebackers will make the call. In this case, it's a ringo. And what happens in mule, and I'll give you a story from when we played Becker College. In mule, essentially, the nose picks for the, for the uh, defensive end. Okay, so as always, if it's a ringo, the stud knows he's in it. If it's a lucky, the end knows he's in it. Okay, because we stay left and right. So the nose, and this isn't a bad um, stunt to call in a pa in a run situation either, not just a passing situation, okay? And so if it is a pass, the nose literally picks, drives, knocks back the guard for a solid two count, keeping his feet, trying to move him backward, and then he loops across his face outside for what we call outside cage. Okay, so he doesn't just run aimlessly out here like the arrow. Once he crosses the guard's face, he then works more upfield, and it literally depends on the, the launch point that's where the quarterback sets up. Okay, again, assuming it's a pass. So the defensive end executes a stick. Right, there's no step hard outside. There's no flash. He executes a stick. Okay. So this is real tight when we talk about, you know, copping a free feel off his butt, literally rubbing him. It's going to happen automatically, especially if the nose isn't able to get any real knock, knock back on the center. So the DN sticks, and remember for us, a lot of people call it a long stick. We just try and eliminate simplify stick means two gaps, B, A. Okay, so stick A behind the nose. And then read the guard, the butt side rule. So <clears throat> if the guard's engaged, then you're going to stay in A. That's done. Okay, I'll, I'll bring in the center in a second. If, for some reason, the guard blocked down, even if it's a pass set, so there's no knockback, and so the nose releases and gets into outside cage now, so the butt is literally facing into the B gap, then the defensive end's going to get in the B. That's a rare occurrence, to be honest with you. Okay. So the only other thing, and it's not written here, is if the center is pulled into the A gap by the nose's um, picking of the guard, then as the DN sticks and he sees the center facing him, then he may cross over into the opposite A gap. That's okay. But he's got to get vertical. All right. And that is what the mule is. It's a pick to hopefully open up at the inside rush for the defensive end up through the A-gap. Okay, so now here is my Becker College story. Becker had a tendency in certain situations, in fact, it's third and medium, to out of a similar formation to either run draw, halfback draw, up in the A-gaps, or fake the draw and then have the halfback execute a screen, so like a drifting type of screen, okay? So we had a combo call for both linebackers on the running back in that particular, that was part of the game plan. When we run mule, we're running it to take away that halfback draw, and if the halfback's there, defensive end, Stay. Don't continue to rush for the quarter. Just stay with it. Okay? 
So you think you got everything covered. Well, here it comes. So we call Mule. There goes the halfback, and I'm watching. Say, oh, beautiful. Here it comes. Well, the defensive end runs right by him. I'm like, oh, boy. Now it's he, he, he's setting up the screen. He's rushing the quarterback, putting a, putting a little not a little bit, but not a lot. Quarterback was good at drawing him back. This linebacker didn't participate in the combo, so he was out here somewhere, number two. So now I'm thinking, holy crap. I hope the mic is paying attention. Well, it turns out the mic was not only paying attention, the back came here on his side of the line of scrimmage. Now here, the, the Mike linebacker came across, intercepted the pass, went 60 yards for a touchdown, opened up the game. <laughs> okay, that was like a big part of the game. So I went, whew, makes you look good after a while when the reality is that thing had the potential for that screen to go 60 the other way. Yeah. So anyhow, Mule, it's a nice stunt. It's not bad versus the run. It's really good if you – playing a team that likes to bob so this guard is thinking block and b gap or he's double reading back and outside so it's easy to pick him opening up the a gap and again the defensive end is taught to keep his eyes on the center and it's a good way to get some pressure right up the middle it's a different look and again our guys in the up front work their slant steps and stick steps every single day so this is something they love to do as always, please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com, and I'd love to talk football with you.